So you've played some big boy AAA games and have killed people by shooting something over their heads. It falls and they die. And you've thought to yourself, how can I get that to happen? Well, you've found the right video. I'll quickly go over the logic to help you be on your way to killing people. And at the end of this video, I'll go more in depth as to the extra things I did to give it some spice, like the destructible mesh that breaks once it hits the ground. I'm also thinking of uploading the project to download for free if I can hit 700 subscribers. So help yourself out by helping me out. Okay, so let's start by checking out what we want to happen. I'm in the first person template, I shoot the hanging object, it falls, and then it kills the red cube underneath. Very simple, so let's start. We'll first begin by creating a new blueprint actor, name it hanging object, and let's add a box collision, and you can add a cube static mesh to act as the box. Let's right click on our trigger box and select on components hit. Cast to first person projectile, do once, set simulate physics, let's connect our trigger box and static mesh. Place sound 2D and let's create a bool variable named shot and let's set that to true. What this is doing is the box trigger is detecting when it's hit by a bullet. We then tell the logic to run one time and set physics on our objects so they fall, play a sound, and set the condition to true. Next, let's right click the trigger box again and choose on begin overlap. Let's create a variable from other actors so that anything this falls on will hold a value. Then output a branch with the condition shot being true. Do once, play sound 2D, apply damage with some insane number like 9999. Don't forget to connect the other actor variable to the damage actor under apply damage. Then let's create a delay and also create a float variable named timer and connect it into the delay. Let's also make the timer instance editable by clicking the eyeball and I'll explain why at the end. For now, it'll be zero by default. Lastly, let's destroy component with the component being the trigger box. The last thing we need to do is create our enemy. So let's create another actor named enemy and let's create a float variable named health. Next, we're gonna get events any damage Set health and out of the damage node, let's get health and subtract it from damage. What this is doing is detecting whenever damage is dealt to the enemy and once it detects it, it inflicts the damage which we set as 9999 to the enemy's current health which you guessed it will result in it being zero. The very last thing we need to do is out of the event tick, let's put a branch, get health less than one into the condition and destroy actor. Now this enemy's logic will destroy itself once its health reaches anything less than one. And of course you can put a mannequin and then choose to play an animation montage or anything else and customize it however you want. And that's it everyone. So now I'll explain some of the extra stuff to make this an easier asset for you to use and push your development skills a little bit more. So we added a timer variable to the delay and made it editable, which pops up this little box here in the editor. So as you're designing your level, you can easily customize the time when the falling trigger box dealing the damage goes away. This is really helpful because if you have a box at different heights with multiple levels in your game, you don't want it falling through and killing people when it should just hit one platform, if that makes sense. Another thing I recommend doing is in the spawn sound 2Ds, instead of simply selecting a sound there, create variables for each one, make them editable, and now in the editor when you're placing multiple of them, you can switch up the sounds for each one very easily. Lastly, let's look into making the box destructible, which is actually super easy to do. So head to edit, plugins, and search apex destruction. This will require a restart, but because this project is super fresh, it'll open up quick right back to where it's at. So next, find the cube that we selected for our box, right click, and create destructible mesh. Open it, drag the slider anywhere, hit fracture mesh, 
check enable impact damage and go back to your hanging object blueprints add the destructible mesh and put that in the simulate physics remove your cube static mesh click on your trigger box search collisions in the details pane select collision presets and choose custom then where it says destructible select ignore and you're good to go i hope you all found this video helpful if you guys would like me to drop the project file just again help me out get me to 700 subscribers and i'll link it in the description thanks everybody i will see you in the next video bye